I've got an important and fairly unique question to ask of every golfer watching. When your clubs are in your vehicle, what are you doing to protect them to make sure nothing gets broken or damaged? Well, the folks at Golf Cradle have an idea in this yellow box, and we'll look at it today. I'm Bill Hobson. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to the video and spreading the word about our reviews. Now, the first exposure I had to the world of Golf Cradle, to be honest with you, came on their Twitter account when I saw an animated sequence illustrating what the product does. I reached out to them and said, if you'd like us to put it to the test, send one my way and we'll do it. So here it is. I've never opened this box. We're going to do it together here. Because my understanding of this product, which we will, by the way, take out of the studio and into the vehicle, my understanding of this product is it couldn't be simpler to use in protecting your clubs. It is literally a cradle that holds the head of your golf clubs up off of the, the bottom of your trunk or the back of your, your bed if you're using a truck or an SUV, so that when your, when your woods and your irons are inserted, none of them are bearing the weight of being in the body of the vehicle. So, within here, we've got a few different items, but the main core product is really, as I said, quite simple. There's nothing else in the box except for the cradle. The cradle comes out looking like this. It has a wide base on it, and it is entirely intended for you to lay it in your vehicle and to rest your clubs in here. We'll do this in a moment as we go out to the car and then you're just going to strap them in. So it keeps your clubs from rolling all around if you have some sudden turns or sudden stops. And it also allows you to take the pressure off of your club heads. So this isn't a terribly complicated review. Before we go any further, let's see what else is in the goodie bag here. They sent a few other items and um, we're discovering these together. As I told you, it's a legit unboxing. They sent some more information, some cards, and some product um, postcards for me to send to you, to all of your friends. So if you, if you want to, instead of sending a card from your vacation on the beaches of Jamaica, you could just send them a golf cradle card, and then they'll never talk to you again. However, and we have a couple of, uh, of ball markers. But the most important item in the box, right here, the golf cradle. So let's get out of the studio. Let's take it to the vehicle and see if it's a good fit for protecting your golf clubs. Never let it be said that I won't sacrifice to bring you a quality review of a product because it is currently 21 degrees out here and I took off the ski cap so that it would look a little more presentable. It is frigid here in the Midwest as we demonstrate for you in kind of live action form how the golf cradle works. This is my vehicle. These are my clubs. No, I did not just finish playing a round of golf, but it's going to look like I did because what I normally would do, like all of you, is take this bag, throw it into the cart, and uh, with the clubs facing in, and in my car, even though the seats lay all the way down, there would be some weight being borne by the irons and, more importantly, by these expensive woods. So with the golf cradle, the idea is to take your clubs and literally lay them in your car into this cradle. When your clubs hit the levers here, it forms a little hug around them and you can strap them in at the top. I want to show you how it looks because anything we can do to protect our clubs is a good idea. Okay, since I've never done this before and we're going to test it out together, let me give you a few observations about the golf cradle. First, it's, it's pretty light. You're not going to have any difficulty maneuvering this around. Secondly, in the base is a rotating disc that, that spins out so that you have full stability here on the bottom. It comes tucked inside, and if you don't use it, then you're going to have some tipping going on. So spin this thing out. Position it so that the meat of your bag can rest right on there. And then we're going to do the same thing that every one of us as golfers does at the end of a round, whether it's a in an SUV or in your car trunk, we're going to set our bag in here. What we want to make sure of is that our clubs are not bearing the weight, and they're not. They are completely up off the ground. You now have some little straps 
within here, I'm not going to take the time to adjust them now, but they would actually strap this completely in nice and securely so that if you come to any hard turns or sudden stops, your clubs stay protected. It works as advertised and it's pretty good value, especially if it can protect your clubs because we all know what sort of investment we make in our tools of the trade. So well done, Golf Cradle, and hopefully you'll go check it out and make the decision for yourself. If you do, we'd love to hear from you and see what you think of it. Leave us some comments and thoughts in the notes here below the video if you're watching us on YouTube.